Mr. Bigley. Hey there, it's Grabigly, and today I'm playing a game called Coffee Adventure Kofi Kofi. I I don't know how to say the name. All it is is it's an adventure. It's a uh, I guess skill based platformer. It looks very much like Mario Maker levels as far as what I'm able to tell. So prepare for me to uh, struggle a bunch and possibly rage. But let's go get started with this. All right, it looks like wow, a lot of levels. So we have uh, it looks like. 30 levels total, which is a lot to get through for a challenge-based platformer. So let's just get started. All right. Started right off the bat. We just can jump in here. Okay. So we have to make it past that swinging thing. Oh, oh my gosh. That was so close. And then jump on our little car without a top or humongous skateboard, longboard thing, whatever that is, and go skating towards the next level. Oh, whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something shooting at me already, and I was not ready for it. You can bounce off the tops of them. That's just a gamer instinct to go for the, the bounce. Ooh, I like the little victory chime noise. I feel like I've heard that before somewhere. Okay, all about timing. Just run on through. Boom, level three done. Okay, so, ooh, this one is, oh, no, our, our feet hit the, uh, the edge of that one. So, ooh, there we go. I did like a little flip, too, off of that, so that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah, you can flip off the, uh, whoa! I was gonna say you can flip off the enemies, but you can, uh, not, not that kind of flip off, by the way. But you can double jump! Oh my gosh, that's gonna make my, my life way easier. I'm wondering if I was supposed to use that, oh, if I was supposed to use that, uh, oh, you can't kill these guys, okay. In the earlier levels, and I happen to get through them without doing that. Okay, goodbye. So now we know there are some unkillable enemies as well. Oh, whoa, what was that, a cactus? Oh, look out! <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, I got too distracted by the cactus. The killer cacti. All right, boom. Through that level there, weaving through, in and out of those swinging obstacles. I think those ones are the hardest, but now we have to contest with that. Wait, we got a little sun guy here. Hello. And a spike pit. Okay, so he shoots missiles for some reason out of his mouth. Okay, I don't remember the sun in my own reality doing that, but... We'll just walk on by, have a crappy day, sunshine. Oh, God, I got spiked by a cactus. All right, let that go up. Oh, I missed time to jump. Oh, my gosh, the, the, the jump window there on that second one is uh, rough. There we go. Right over the middle. Don't even have to deal with it. Oh, my gosh. Ah! <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, so those... Those don't look like they seek you out. It looks like they just have an established pattern of, of where they're going to land. Which is still hectic, but at least it means that they can't follow me to my skateboard. Which is good. How do I... What the heck? Alright, this is uh, precision-based as it gets... Oh my gosh, and the platform fell into the spikes. So it was good that I jumped when I did. Oh, oh, I forgot about those. Oh my... <laughs> you can get it through the wall too, okay. Alright, cactus is down... Jump. Oh, my gosh. I think I jumped a little bit too soon. Okay. Wait for cactus. Okay. One, two. Now go. No! Oh, I didn't get my double jump in. What happened there? Can I only use it a certain number of times a level? Oh, I went a little bit too soon. I'm getting too, <laughs> getting too antsy and impatient here. Level 14 could be my, my brain and my dopamine's d demise. Oh, my gosh. We finally got through it. Getting to the halfway point here. This game, it when when I said that this was challenge based, this is challenge based. Oh my God! What is happening? That was a jump scare. Why is there a giant Pac-Man? Get out of here, dude! Holy cow! I have enough to compete with. Why are you here, Pac-Man? Okay, we have hidden spears. Another trope in so many platformer-style games like this. They're mainly just a visual kind of like weird thing where it really is confusing to deal with them. Uh, I jumped too soon. <laughs> so confusing. Oh, they have different patterns. Wonderful. Well, I don't care because I'm getting onto my skateboard and going away. Holy cow. Okay. That worked out way better than it probably should have, honestly. But we got through without a death on level 18. Take that, game. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Okay, I, I have to wait a lot longer. Okay, waiting. Now go. Yeah. Oh, no. It was like a pixel. 
My waiting was like a pixel off. Oh, this is way too soon. Yep. We got hit in the arc of it. Okay, so... I think figuring out when I get up to that first platform is going to be... The major thing to figure out. Oh, and then actually making the jump would have helped. Okay, I think go now. Nope. Not then. Wait until... Now. I think? Way too soon. Okay. This is all about timing here. This is both platforming. I love when games have this. This is both skill-based and timing-based. So you have to, like, memorize the patterns of your uh, obstacles. While also making sure that you're not second-guessing yourself as a player and just going for it. Oh, my gosh. This is so hard. <laughs> I jumped over the platform that time. I was too concentrated on this one with the moving spaghetti -o ring. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, I think now was way too soon. I'd rather die by spikes than by you again, evil spaghetti -o ring. Okay. It's getting across. It's getting across that chasm. I think that if it was closer, I would make that every time. But it's it's actually getting across when that ring is down. So I think that what I got to do is go now-ish. Oh, I thought I could jump back the other way to jump over it. Okay. So I think going now. It's all based on when you land is the problem. Okay. So maybe try now. Oh, I already used my double jump like an idiot. Oh, no. I thought that I had it still. Okay. Go now. There we go. Finally. It was very confusing. It was like a constantly spinning clock hand in my periphery. It was very, very <laughs> confusing that whole time. Messing with my mind. Is, and that's what these rage games hope that they do. Like there, I probably could have gotten stuck on that one for 20 minutes. But instead, I decided to be, uh, you know... Just go for it. Take the risk. Take the challenge. Okay, this is not lined up in an optimal way for me yet. Okay. I think that... Oh, no. I hit the underside of it. Okay. Oh, I wish I could duck. Oh, no. The saw blade hit my little toesies. And I can't... I definitely... I don't think I can jump over the spike platform. I kind of almost can, though. Is that... Is that the move? Oh my gosh, it's the move. And then go under. Oh my god, there's the little timing window. This game definitely has psyched me out a number of times. But, ooh, thank you little Goomba guy. Giving me that extra boost of jump. But honestly, I gotta have more faith in my skills. I grew up playing games like this. This is the type of game that I really love the challenge of. And I will try over and over again until I finally win the game. Because I, I just lo I love being able to do stuff like I just did. Those little weave-ins and outs. Dang. Feeling smart for that one. Not for that one <laughs> as much. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, we made it past everything. That's fine. It's A-OK. -okay. Awesome. We'll wait for the next level to load in. Oh, my gosh. This is the type of game that gets your adrenaline up for sure. But it's so rewarding when you get the win. I uh, we almost See, we almost... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we almost first tried that. And then I died in the silliest way possible that this game has to offer. Oh, that little missile. Oh, gosh. Okay. That little missile. How do I... Okay. I think I got to start my double jump a little bit slower there. Okay. Maybe not that slow. Ah, the sun. The sun wants me dead. And honestly... It's achieved its goal several times. Okay. Oh, a little guy. It's hard to tell where their pads are for the jumps. Oh, no! That was just the last little guy. I should have been able to get past him, but I wasn't paying attention well enough. There we go. Level 27. Done with. All right. Oh, landed right in the middle of the death. The deadly spaghetti -o rings. Ooh. Okay. So I think moving forward a tiny bit. Go now. No! If I'd gotten over that one, I think that was it. I think that would have been the game-winning run. Maybe not, though. Maybe you're just supposed to go right off the bat. Okay. Oh! That moves. That was unexpected. Although, everything at this point in this game should be kind of expected. Because that's the type of game it is. Everything is a death trap. All right! 
I didn't think that we were going to get to level 30. I will be honest with you. I did not think that I was going to be good enough to get to level 30. The final level. Ooh, against a boss. Ooh, are we trying to, like, rescue a girlfriend or someone? Or just beating up this evil T-Rex? He's not much of a challenge. Compared to the rest of the game, that guy was so easy. Thank you, Coffee, Kofi, Co Co Kofi, whatever, whatever our name is. You are welcome, mystery person that I did not even realize we were on our way to go rescue, but apparently that's all we had to do. So that was level 1 through 30 of this game. I'm assuming that's the end of the game. It's not letting me do anything else, but what a fun little adventure. I like this quite a bit. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me play it as well, Diane, over and over again. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.